Repurposed drugs can supercharge your cancer treatment as a powerful neoadjuvant alongside the care you're doing. But you need to know what your targets are and you just can't randomly give this and you need mapping for your cancer, which is currently not happening. In this episode, you'll learn about these repurposed drugs you're hearing all about. We'll go into some of the more popular ones like ivermectin and methylene blue and menbendazole, fenbendazole. We'll talk a little bit about those, but we're going to talk about the problems that you have with just the prescribing of them without the right targeting and how they can support conventional care if that's targeted, which usually isn't either, and I'll go into that in a minute, and getting your immune system working correctly. Cancer treatment needs to be done correctly and it makes all the difference. We're going to talk about how you can help outsmart your cancer. I'm Dr. Dino Prado, founder of Vita Medical Centers. For the last 25 years, I've been blessed to help a lot of patients and our team with precision targeting. It's this deeper thinking that makes all the difference. It goes beyond what you get at the standard cancer hospitals or integrative care. It's next level. It's truly precision and I hope this gives you so much confidence and understanding so you feel good and understand what you're doing. The goal for everyone is better outcomes and helping our patients is at the center of all of the education we do. So let's get started. In this episode I'll explain what repurposed drugs are, why they're powerful, and how you need to use them in the right way for them to work. So we're going to talk about how you get deeper testing, multiomics. These are really important because if you get the smart targeting they can come alongside care and make a huge difference but sometimes they also have to be delivered correctly and precision delivery really matters the right combinations are going to change the results and we get calls all the time i mean we get thousands of calls where people are already taking ivermectin methylene blue menbendazole you name it already doing standard chemo and it's just not working and the answer to these problems is testing and design of the treatment and the delivery of the treatment it's all three it's not just the testing the testing's part of it but then you have to custom design it and then you have to deliver it and patients aren't getting that in standard chemotherapy and they're really not even getting that with integrated of care. So today you'll learn why it's so important to get the right testing, how to fix these problems and supercharge your cancer so you can get on with your life and get the results you're hoping to. First things first, what's drug repurposing? Well, repurposing means we're taking an existing drug that was already approved for something else and it's being used for cancer because in this case, it's hitting the right pathways when you do the right testing. So there's a big advantage to repurpose drugs. Think about it. We already know their safety and their dosing because they've been around for a while. So we know that we know how they work or what we call their mechanism of action and their pathways. And they're a heck of a lot cheaper than brand new oncology drugs, which are super expensive. And frankly, one of the reasons why pharmaceutical companies are not really doing repurposed drugs or really natural phytotherapeutics, because there's no money in them. They're sticking to the new drugs. So here's a reality check that we need to think about. All these repurposed drugs are really underutilized. Why? There's a huge cost gap. No one's interested in these, but they're really powerful. So they published in 2024 an annual list price for a new cancer drug is 410,000 average a year. That's 34,000 a month. That's a very big drug and they make billions of dollars a year and you get the markups from the PBMs and the hospitals. That's what everybody's pushing. But we don't want that. We want what's right for you. And when you do the testing, you can find what's right for you. Brand new drugs can reach multi-billion dollar a year sales. So that's why nobody's interested, which is why there's less incentives to fund these repurposed drugs. The cancer industrial complex has no real incentives to develop these or integrative agents agents either, natural agents, there's no money in it, but they're still very powerful. And because big pharma is not pushing it and insurance companies aren't selling it through their PBMs, making money and hospitals aren't marking it up, it doesn't mean they're not very powerful. They just need to be done correctly. So that's why this area is almost completely ignored, but a huge advantage for you when the testing is done correctly it can make a big difference. But patients usually don't get the right testing. They get put on something or they try it on their own and they find it doesn't work or it's not what they thought it was going to be because they don't have the right targeting. And that's the problem. You just can't do something because in a published paper, it said, oh, this might help with this cancer. So take ivermectin. There's a lot more to it. Look, you had this podcast that Joe Rogan did and Mel Gibson was on it. He shared a story of his stage four cancer patients that had recovered with ivermectin and fenbendazole. And it just went crazy. And everybody started ordering the medicines, hoping it was going to work for them. And reality is it caused a scare in the standard healthcare industry because they're like, why are they ordering these drugs? It could be harmful. It's not what it's designed to do. But he wasn't completely wrong. If you have the right testing, you can tell whether these agents would be helpful or not. And the key to this comes back to what I said in the beginning. The end of one custom testing and targeting is the key. A personalized approach is what is going to make the difference. Whether you're using a drug that's approved or a repurposed drug like ivermectin or anything else, even a natural agent, you need to know how they're going to work. And so this isn't happening. No one's running deep mapping. They're not going into detailed planning. What they're doing is they read a paper and they say, oh, this might help you. So they give you the medicine. 
medicine. That's not really good healthcare because everybody is different. When you run the test, you'll find that two cancers, same type, are totally different, different markers, and need different planning. Many patients have contacted us after trying repurposed drugs that were not working, methylene blue, you name it. It didn't work for them. Even after standard chemotherapy, after trying one, two rounds, didn't work for them because they didn't have the mapping. And when we do the testing, we're able to show them this is why it didn't work. And they go, I wish I would have came to you sooner. And that's the power of precision deep mapping. The key reason these treatments fail is there's no targeting and no mapping because there's a guessing game going on. Let's try this. And no one should be guessing with their life. This is the key. You don't want to just add some inexpensive oral pill to your regimen or natural agent if you know that it could actually not help you or cause other issues because you don't have multiomics that's telling you this is the right target for you. That's the key. We need to get out of the guessing game. Most of the drugs go to the market after double blind placebo clinical trials, which sounds great, but these are for the averages. These are not for your detailed mapping. And when you do the mapping, you'll find that that drug that was prescribed to everybody else isn't even the right fit for you. We found that 90% of our patients were on the wrong medications after we do testing. That's how powerful getting proper mapping is and precision targeting. I call it mapping because it's basically you can see it all laid out and what's going to work, what's going to be most effective and what's caused the cancer and how to get the immune system enacted. And once you have that information, you have a huge advantage. So here's how you do it at the clinical level. Deep multiomics testing, DNA, RNA, immunity, and spatial biology. It shows you the best targets across on-label, approved drugs, repurposed drugs, natural integrative phytotherapeutics, and then how to combine them. And then also how to deliver them because you need to get them sometimes to the tumor or deliver them in a micro dose, which is going to give you the best outcome and the best quality of life. That's the advantage of precision targeting. So here's the right way. You do the targeting you, and you know what your targets are and then you deliver them. And this correct manner then takes the guesswork out and you don't have to worry if something's working or not. So you, the DNA helps look at just a few hundred genes. It's a good starting point, but it's not the whole thing. I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, oh, I did DNA testing. Basic. That's looking at a few drugs on the market, even though you have maybe, you know, three, four, five hundred markers there. There's only several drugs that are approved and they only typically slow cancer down at best. What you need is not just DNA, but you need transcriptomics RNA. That's you bring you over a thousand markers. And then you need immune spatial biology, which is telling you where your immune system is, which is the key to knocking the cancer out. You need immunotherapy enacted. The immune system knows what to do to kill cancer. It just needs to be able to get the information it needs to do its work. And this mapping reveals that. And then it reveals what medicines you need, how they need to be prepared, because you're not going to call your average pharmacy or order chemotherapy and it comes nicely for delivery. These precision targeting requires custom drug build. So they're specific for you. And now you can get the custom medications in the lower doses delivered straight to the tumor that makes all the difference for you. So let's take a look at this in the perspective of looking at the cancer like a city with all these roads going around. So you have your DNA is like the car. It's driving through the city. As you start blocking the roads, you can see all the maps of where the cancer is as it's moving. The driver is the RNA. It's telling us where the cancer is going and we can read that with heat maps. This is what would work. This is not what's going to work. Here's what you need for your cancer type. And the spatial biology is like the SWAT team that's telling us, hey, here's where the immune system needs to go and here's why it's being blocked. Correct that. And and you can see that when you look at the tumor's neighborhood, the tumor microenvironments around the cancer. Nobody is doing this work. This is the difference to great outcomes, in my clinical opinion, versus hope, watch, and waiting. Now you have detail. And now you know where to go. And you can dial everything in specifically at the right dosing, the right delivery, custom built for you. Oftentimes, patients will say, I want to do natural integrative care. That's noble. But what are you doing? You're trying a bunch of natural agents. Your doctor has no targeted testing for the most part. And neither does your standard oncology. So you don't know Know what's going to work. And most of these drugs are slowing things down. They're not actually killing the cancer. So we need treatments that are customized from the mapping that kill the cancer and they have to be delivered in a method that's customized to get to the tumor and reduce the side effects and improve the long-term outcome. So that's the key. So when I talk about repurposing drugs, they're great, but you need to know what your targets are. Now I just mentioned a few, but there are so many of them because when you do the targeting, you'll reveal new ones you've never even heard of because of the right fit for you. And it shows it in your map. Now, not just in a published paper, in your map, because this is what cancer is. It's about understanding your detailed map, your expressions. So now repurposed drugs are exciting, but they may need to be custom developed because they may have to be del delivered straight to the tumor using interventional radiology oncology. So this is why people have a hard time with treatment that's not working, not responding. It's a lot of guessing. And the key is detailed testing, detailed custom build of the medicine and the delivery that is specific for you. When you pick up all the right tools 
and you do the right deep mapping, you remove the guesswork, and you get a precise care. It's like a surgical strike to the cancer, and you're getting the job done whilst protecting your body, helping your body heal, giving it what it needs to restore itself. That's the key to good cancer treatment. So repurposed drugs, these are great, but if they're not done correctly, they're not going to work, and they can actually be harmful. We don't want to go down that road. We want to go down the road that's right for you. So I hope this was helpful. May the Lord bless you on your journey to healing.